guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do the used and abused tag. Um, I was tagged by Amanda in like June or something. Ah, oh, my god, it is a long time coming. And where's my phone? I can't find my phone. I lost my phone. Okay, no, yeah. Um, and then I got a request from. Uh, what? Uh, what is your name? What is your name? I can't remember your name. Arabian Heart, I think your name is. <laughs> your username, at least. Um, she asked me if I could do this video, and of course I could. So I looked up the video again just to see what it was all about. And my most used products at the moment in my collection that you can see progress on and stuff like that that is what i'm going to show you but if you have a lot of makeup that is just used and filthy and pants all over them kind of what my c palette looked like last year for my panda palette in finale i will insert a picture because that was filthy and used and abused that is my best example so the first product is actually my C palette because I have used and abused this C palette, set C palette a lot. You can kind of see it. It has scratches and it's dirty and filthy. So if we continue in the palette category, I will. I'm going to mention my panda palette for this year. It is my Too Faced chocolate bar. I have used and abused this palette for a few months now. So. As you can see, I have four or five pants in this. I have some huge dips. I have used it so much. And I have really, really used this a ton. Because it is my panel palette. But at the same time, I really, really like this palette. And some of the shades I don't care about, actually. But as a whole, I really like this palette. But when I have used it up, I'm not going to buy it again. I think there are much better neutral palettes out there than this one. But I am enjoying enjoying using it this year. The next palette is a highlighting palette from Makeup Revolution. It is the Ultra Pro Glow Palette. I'm very good at remembering names and what the actual product is and stuff like that. So that's why I can remember this one. Um, the name has rubbed off scratches all over it and it's dirty <laughs> and I have some pans um, I hit last year when I had it in projects you can see it there um, I have used it so much last summer and I will continue using it this summer because it's beautiful all over the body and it has beautiful highlighters but I have used and abused this palette for sure then I have my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette uh, in Dolce Tileco or something. Again, scratchy and filthy, <laughs> but um, yeah, as you can see, I have used the highlighting side. I use that to set my concealer, and I love it to death. Um, it's so dirty and so filthy, but I love it, and I wish the highlighting powder comes at a single form. I love the bronzer as well, but I am panning another bronzer in my C palette at the moment. So um, then I have some foundation to show you guys. This is my foundation at the moment. It is the W7 Very Vegan HD Foundation in Bare Buff. I don't have this in a project or anything, so yeah. I'm almost done with this and I use that even though I'm not panning it. And I have the darker color in sand beige and I have used that a lot I don't think you can see it kind of but this is so dirty and I adore that product it's so good and the same with my Rimmel London Match Perfection foundation used and abused these foundations even though I'm not panning it and I don't have them in a project I'm going to talk uh, about my eyelashes, my false eyelashes from Eyelure. I love these. These are my favorites at the moment. I have the number 140 and the new Enchanted After Dark Mimits are cool lashes. I love these. I have loved and abused them. They're still going strong. I need to clean them, but they are amazing and I have definitely used and abused these. I have some other ones that I could show you as well that is broken 
and I actually used and abused those as well. But for also eyelashes is something I really really love wearing when I'm going out or for a party or an event or just for filming sometimes. But yeah. Then I have my W7 Lash Tastic Force Liquid Lashes. I don't know if you can see it. It's filthy. It it was more filthy last week. <laughs> but yeah. It is, I abuse my mascara so much, I don't care if they get messy, so yeah, that is an example. My mascaras are always almost black on the tube for the mascara. And then I have my e.l.f. eyebrow kit in light, definitely used and abused this one. I finished the wax, I have half of this left. Last year I finished off um, the one in medium I believe. So, yeah, it is just so dirty and I have used and abused this one as well. I have my Maybelline Color 2 in On and On Bronze. They, my Color 2 get so dirty and I just use a lot of them. So, yeah, another product that I just use a lot. Then my Benefit Erase Paste. The packaging, the sticker on here is getting rubbed off, get some scratches in it, and it is almost done as well. So all my products get so messy when I use them so much, um, but also because you're panning items, they get very messy because you use them every single day, and yeah. But if your makeup aren't messy sometimes, you can't really see if they get loved, you know? So, but at the same time, I really like clean makeup as well. So, it's not all of my makeup that are very filthy and disgusting. <laughs> but these are just some of my items that have the most progress that I can show you that is the closest to used and abused. But these are also some of my favorite items ever so i'm really really excited that i could show some small favorites of mine in my collection and i hope you enjoyed this i'm i i'm going to try to tag some people down below i this is a very long time ago this tag was made and got around on here on youtube and in the panning community so i will try to uh, um, tag some people down below if but if you haven't done this tag i'm going to tag you because i I think it is going to be very hard to tag people because everyone and their mother have done this tag. So that's everything for this video. I hope you will stick around. I do a lot of project planning on my channel and um, yeah, attacks and uh, I'm going to do empties this year and I'm very excited. I have just filmed one today and yeah, I hope you are going to enjoy my channel and then I will see you next time.